Hello children, now we will go for the concept of electric power. What do you mean by electric power? Electric power is the rate at which the current in a circuit does some work. Or electric power is the rate at which the energy is consumed or dissipated in a circuit. So, it is actually energy by time. You have already studied this concept in your 9th standard. So, what do you mean by electric power? Power is the rate at which energy is consumed. So, it's a concept of energy by time. So, as we take heat energy consumed or heat liberated in a circuit or heat dissipated in a circuit, this can be written as H by T. So children, do you remember the three equations that we have studied in our previous class? Just remember it? Yes, that's it. So I'll write it for you. H is equal to V into I into T. H is equal to I squared RT. H is equal to V squared by R into T. These are the three equations that we have studied in the last class. So, when we put this H here, we will get another three sets of equations for power. So, what is power? Power is equal to V into I into T. Here H. Instead of this H, we are putting V I T by T. So, we will get it is V I. So, we will get the first equation of power as V I. So, power is the product of voltage and current. This is the first equation. When we put instead of this H, this I squared RT, what will we get? We will write it. Instead of uh, this H, we are putting I squared RT. So, what is it? Instead of H, I squared RT by T. So, T and T get cancelled. We will get I squared R. So, we will get I P is equal to I squared R. This is the second relation that we obtain. So, do for the third relation, you try it at, in your book. So, what is it? P is equal to. So, what is it? I am waiting for you to get the answer. So, what will be the third equation? V square R T. V square by R into T by T. So, what is it? It is V square by R. So, corresponding to the three equations for heat, we will get a Three equations for power. What are they? P is equal to Vi. P is equal to I squared R. P is equal to V squared by R. Now, we will go for the unit of this power. So, we can get the unit of power with this simple relation. What is it? Volt into ampere. Or it is ampere square ohm. Like that. So, we, put, we know that the SI unit of power is watt. So, in order to honor James Watt, the unit of electrical power is, it can be joule per second, but we write it as Watt. You have of course noticed the writings on some of the appliances like 10 Watt, 100 Watt, like that. So, unit of power is Watt, W-A-T-T, -T, and it is abbreviated as capital W. So, children, before going to this, we you will be confused why in a numerical analysis, which all equations you will take if something is given to you. Which equation you have to take? Because there are three equations for power. So, there is a neat tip for you to use which relation in which context. That also I will explain in this session. So, children, we have three equations. P is equal to Vi. And we know that both V and I is seen to be changed in a numerical analysis. We can write directly write the equation P is equal to Vi. And there is another equation. What is it? P is equal to I squared R. And P is equal to V square by R. You may be getting confused between these two relations. Which you have to take in which contest. So children there is a good tip for you. Whenever in a numerical analysis. You feel that the current is a constant. What is it? Where current is a constant, you have to opt for this equation. 
But when you feel that the voltage, when it is given that the voltage is a constant, you have to go for this equation V square by R. So, for current being a constant, you must apply this equation P is equal to I squared R. Or, when voltage is said to be a constant, you have to go for this relation power is equal to V square by R. I will explain this with a very neat example. Sometimes there, there is a board question like there is a 100 watt bulb and 50 watt bulb which is having more resistance. So what is it? Which is having more resistance? That is the question to you. So you can take two relation, right? Where there is power and resistance, there are two relations. Power is equal to I squared R is a relation. Power is equal to V squared by R is a relation. In this equation, power is proportional to R. In this relation, power is inversely proportional to R. But nothing is given in the question. Here you must take the fact that usually when we have the bulb, we are not uh, talking about any experimental circuits. We are only talking about some household circuits where the voltage is a constant in every branch. In household circuits, voltage remain constant in every branch. So, for this type of question, you have to go with this equation. So, what is it? Power is proportional to, power is equal to V square by R where V is a constant. Or we can say that power is proportional to 1 by R. So, answer me 100 watt bulb or 50 watt bulb which is having more resistance. Answer me. Power increases, resistance should decrease. So, of course, as power is less for a 50 watt bulb, the resistance is more for a 50 watt bulb. I hope that this particular question you will keep in mind. You have to keep in mind because whenever nothing is given, like voltage or current is constant, you take it as voltage as a constant. But in certain questions, it will be given that two bulbs are connected in series. Two bulbs are connected in series means same current for two bulbs. That means that the same current, the current is a constant for two bulbs. In those cases, you have to go with P is equal to I squared R. I hope that you have grasped this concept really well. Thank you children. See you in the next class. Thank <laughs> you.